Let's get straight into the Aramco results first of all, because as I mentioned, Saudi Aramco reporting record earnings here for the quarter, the best since the company went public, almost $40 billion made in just three months' time. Is this as good as it gets, Sadat, and what stuck out for you in the results? Uh, good morning, Dan. Uh, yeah, it's been a very tumultuous first quarter. We started at $79 uh, Brent and uh, we closed the quarter at $109 Brent. So uh, this kind of income uh, was inevitable because of the oil prices. And incidentally, I think all the oil industry, the conventional oil industry and gas has benefited. And, and the credit has to be given to Aramco's management, to the kingdom's management, uh, the financials uh, running a company of this size with, with this kind of income and these kind of operations across the world is, is quite a challenge in its own right, uh, as much as a challenge as the production and the refining and, and the execution of projects. So. Uh, it, it will stay this way, I, I think, uh, as long as the markets persist the way they are and there's no reason to expect them not to uh, with all the ter turmoil in the global uh, political uh, arena. Uh, we're going to see this for a while. Uh, of course, there are unknowns. You know, what will happen with China? You were just discussing that. The Far Eastern market is very important. Also, what about the embargo on uh, Russian oil and gas? Uh, will that become more um, pervasive? Uh, will it uh, extend beyond uh, 2022? So there are long-term issues, but in the near term, I think uh, we'll see these kind of uh, income for oil uh, persist for the balance of this year. And we know Aramco shares have risen significantly this year in line with the surging price of oil. Sadat, how sustainable are current market fundamentals and energy prices as we come into the summer, in your view? Uh, look, going into the summer, uh, I believe there are uh, two sets of factors, some supporting higher prices, some not. Uh, supporting higher prices is a seasonal uh, surge in demand, which is inevitable. Uh, the continuing uh, shortage of supply, which will prop up prices, um, depending on what happens again with uh, the Ukrainian conflict, and uh, the lack of investments. Uh, I think uh, this business of counting a lot on alternative energy, you know, was well intentioned, but it's not delivering. So those are factors that will prop up oil prices. On the other hand, uh, the potential loss of demand in the Far East, uh, the potential uh, collapse of uh, certain markets uh, due to uh, inflation and uh, recession in general, uh, those will decrease the demand. We've already seen, by the way, a, uh, a decrease in demand from 98.5 million uh, earlier this uh, quarter to uh, almost 97.5. So loss of demand is also working. Two factors working against opposite each other, but balanced oil uh, for the while uh, is likely the outlook.